six, five, four, three, two. Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to another Makeup Monday. Today's edition is New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody. By the time I get this up, it'll be New Year's Day. So I hope you guys had a good time last night. Hope you guys drove safely and didn't get too lit. But I am doing another recreation. This is episode, I want to say three, of my recreation series. This week's episode's recreation was a New Year's Eve look by Alyssa Forever. She is like one of my favorite YouTubers. I'll link a picture either here or here so you guys can see the look that I was going for. Hopefully I nailed it. I hope you guys have an amazing year. My year has been, whew, this year has been a tough year. But it's 2018 now, you know, so I'm on to a new journey and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I thank you guys. If you wanna see another Be By Key, keep watching. I'm taking the shade Innocent from the Tardius Pro Palette and I'm putting that as my transition color. I'm going to follow that up with this dark brown shade from the same Tardius Pro Palette. I'll put the name in the description bar below because I can't really see it right now. And then I'm going to put that into the same, do the same thing on the opposite eye. And I'm going to follow that up by this dark burnt orange color in the same Tardius Pro Palette. And I'm going to pop that above where I put that brown color. I'm gonna take this really dark brown now and I'm gonna put that in my outer V area on both eyes to add depth to the eye look because Alyssa's look was kind of smoky so I'm trying to recreate the same thing. And I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Fawn Pro Conceal and carve out my cut crease to the best of my ability. Y'all know this is not my forte, so just bear with me. And then I set that and I went in with that same dark brown color that I used and put it back into my outer V to bring back depth and blend out that line. And then I'm gonna go back with that burnt orange color and put it on the outer parts of my eye as well. I'm taking this glitter, um, I'll put the name in the description bar below, I forgot the name of it, this liquid glitter and I'm going to carve out my cut crease area. She had this cute little glitter line on her eyes so I'm going to do the same thing. And now I'm taking my uh, Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and I'm going to prime my face with that in color correct. I'm going to blend out my finger because it's a lot faster so bear with me. Now I'm taking the AJ Crimson Artist Kit and I think it's the shade um, 7 or 6.5 and then I'm going to put that all over my face. It looks a little orange but it works, I promise. And I'll just blend that in with my Real Technique sponge and then you know we're going to hop into highlighting. And I'm using this Wet n Wild um, Concealer in the darker shade I think it's Cocoa or Cocoa Bean or something like that. And then I'm going to put that on the high points of my face. Um, and then I'm going to follow that up with some LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fine. Because, you know, I like to double it up, honey. And then I'm going to put that on the high points of my face. I just need to add a little bit of extra light. And I'm taking this Black Radiance um, um, Foundation Stick in the shade Black Walnut. And I'm going to use that. To carve out the areas where I want to create a shadow. Take a few other shit. I mean, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. If I could keep my hand with a few other shit, I would. Okay, now that I'm back, I'm going to blend out this um, highlight using that same Real Techniques complexion sponge. I like to let it sit for a while. I feel like it adds a little bit more coverage if you let it dry down a bit. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'll take this stippling brush from e.l.f. and blend out that contour. And then I'm going to go behind that with that same Real Technique sponge to make sure everything is seamless. Now I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder. Um, I don't bake so I just press it into my skin using the damp beauty blender in all the places that I highlighted.
Now I'm taking that and I'm going to underbake just a little bit. And I'm taking this Juvia's Place blush palette and I'm going to use the orange shade that's in there. I took this um, Black Radiance Rich Mahogany Press Powder and I'm going to use that to contour my face. Because I want to be snatched. And then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in the shade bronze i'm real like it's old now so it's barely showing up but you know you want to have a little extra razzle dazzle for new year's eve and i'm finishing off the eye look by smoking out that bottom lash line and setting it with some eyeshadow the same eyeshadows that i used on my lid now i'm going to set my entire face using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And then I'm just gonna use that to make sure everything blends together seamlessly. Now I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade, I wanna say Coco or something like that. And then this NYX Liquid Lingerie and I'll put that name in the description bar below. And I'm gonna top that off with a NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee and a Revlon Gloss. And that is gonna be all for this look, honey. <laughs> Love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell down below. And leave a comment in the suggestion box below. I hope you guys have an amazing 2018. I hope that all your dreams come to fruition.